Welcome to PTI. I'm your host, Charles, joined today with Nate and Connor. The question for the day, what is the best sport to watch? Nate. What you th- what's your take? I gotta go with basketball. The NBA, March Madness, exciting sports to watch. We'll start with March Madness. Just that 64 game tournament, maybe a little bit more now with the first four, but it just every games every day, first best in the first round, first weekend, games all day, every day. So much fun. Everyone in schools on their phones watching it, at home, on TV watching it. The the upsets, so exciting. Whereas in football, you're seeing Guys in the huddle, oh, there's a 30-second timeout for some reason. And then it's like, oh, i got to go on my phone, watch Instagram, go on Twitter or something. I just want to watch football. Basketball is so much more entertaining, less timeout, just more continuous play. Nate, that is an awful take. In football, the reason that there's a bit of breaks is because the physicality is so much higher than basketball. It's and not to mention the strategy too. It's such a team sport more so than basketball because in basketball one person can do an ISO play, they go to the hoop bucket. In football, it can't just be one person. It has to be a well oiled machine at all times. Yeah, okay, but that's fine. But still, we're talking about a fun sport to watch. Not not like to play. So yeah, obviously you need the timeouts, but in basketball the timeouts are not as often. The teams have a few timeouts, but they're not used all the time. And then it's just continuous play. The, the guys score a fun basket, a cool layup, a cool dunk. And in a second, the guys are ready across half court, and there's another cool layup. They're just continuous, fun play, and especially on social media, the, the, the basketball world, the fun, creative guys like John Morant, Anthony Edwards, this, this new young wave of, a wave of basketball, so much more entertaining to watch. Marketability is through the roof in these days of basketball. Basketball is just such a fun sport to watch where football – It's fun. It's a fun sport to watch, don't get me wrong, but it's just not at a level of marketability and jersey sales and stuff where basketball just brings in a lot more revenue. Um, so Nate, I just think you're wrong, man. I think any any time, ten ten times out of ten, I'm going to choose football biggest hits over coolest or farthest three-pointers. I mean, like, w- there's no special, like, plays in basketball anymore. There's dunks every game. There's three-pointers every game. But because in football there's so few games, every game is so important to watch. And then you see one big hit that's so energizing. I have a question for you, Nate. Yeah. What do you think about the NBA uh, the NBA Finals not really bringing anywhere close as many viewers as the Super Bowl? Well, it's you can't really compare it. NBA Finals, NBA Playoffs, these are best of seven series. So over the course of a series, obviously the viewership's going to be different based on the intensity of the game. Football, one game each weekend, and that one game is going to decide who goes, who moves on. So obviously the viewership's going to be more for the playoffs because of the importance of each single game. But basketball, like imagine a game, a game seven, the NBA Finals or the or Eastern Conference Finals, LeBron versus Embiid or any of these guys, these big players, that's going to bring in money. And those games are some of the other most important games to watch in the NBA season. But since football is one game elimination playoffs, that makes the game so much more fun to, to watch because they can't lose today, tomorrow, but then they win the game, then they lose, you know. It's one game. It's intense. They have to win. That, it's just it's so much more fun to watch than a seven-game series that drags out over time. Well, that's been, that's been it for PTI. I'm your host, Charles, with Connor and Nate. It's been a great argument. Bye-bye.